I'm going to have a breakdown. But hopefully it will be more of a nervous breakthrough than a nervous breakdown. I say hopefully because I just don't know yet. I haven't done it. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel and to another episode of Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, my loves. Can I just say, this series has been so strangely received on my Chanel. Sometimes it comes across as great and sometimes it's like the worst videos I've ever made for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's just like this topic is kind of controversial, shall we say. <laughs> On the topic of controversial, let's talk a little bit about the last episode we watched. So, in the last episode, the girlfriend at the end was kind of like, I made a comment saying like, oh, she's very like dominatrix, she knows exactly what she wants. And it wasn't until I was reading the comments that I was like, oh, hang on. Oh, I'm actually seeing more signs of like a domineering personality that's unequal in a relationship, shall we say, without flagging Susan too much. With that being said, I think I would kind of like to retract my comments about being like, she knows what she wants, blah de blah I actually get the vibe that she's maybe a little... I actually now get an idea that potentially the relationship is not quite as healthy as um, we would like, shall we say. Anyway, moving on from that, I want to read you a comment from the last video, which was the top rated comment here. And it is by the Moonlight Mage. And they say, it's crazy how different this is from the new one, meaning Queer Eye on Netflix, because now the show is more uplifting and about teaching people to take care of themselves as well as exploring why they don't in the first place and working on that. Yes, so that is a huge difference. I feel like culturally we have changed quite a lot since this show actually aired and today we're actually gonna bump it forward a little bit and we're gonna move on to season two now the reason why i want to do that is i just want to see what the difference are between season one and season two i want to see if there's budget increase i want to see if the people have changed i want to see if the language that they're using has changed but i mean it was only about a year later so mm. but i would agree with the moonlight mage in completely saying that nowadays the show is much more about building a well-rounded life for the individual and i think that is so much more beautiful than whatever the hell we're gonna watch today my loves i would love if there was some way of bringing back the older reality TV shows and just redoing them with much better ethics and much better morals. Like, can you imagine the swan nowadays, but it's actually ethically sound for the person to go on there? I mean, well, there probably still would be some problems though, wouldn't there? Today, my loves, we are going to be watching season two, episode one, Jeff Taole. Taol? Taol? I'm unsure how to say his last name, but I'm sure we will hear it in today's episode. So, before we watch the episode, I do actually want to let you guys know that this week I'm actually moving. So, you're not going to see this particular backdrop ever again. <gasps> Mysterious. It's time to bleed. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's the most, like, Euro dance trash ever. We're going to Oak Ridge, New Jersey. We got an Oak Ridge boy in Oak Ridge. Jersey. Jeff Toll, hippie dad. Jeff Toll is a postal worker. Those postal uniforms are so sassy, don't you think? Look at that. Oh my goodness, it had his stats there. They could have used a slightly better photo. That photo definitely looked like it was, um... Part of a Netflix documentary, should we say? A dead body. Look at that hair. Oh my god. Oh, Scary instantly Garcia. the audio. What his yeah. name is. But what's oh, really weird is how he could go to that look from the look he had in the 70s. He was a model. Oh my god. He was a model? First of all, I, I don't know what's happening, but he was a model. Time for America's Next Top Scandal, girls. It was a perfect fashion moment. Instantly, I'm just going to say this instantly from like a technical production standpoint. The audio is so much better in this episode. Like it's so much pitched better. Their background music isn't as like loud and overpowering. Jeff is a taxidermist, a wood a carver, an avid fisherman, and plays lead guitar in a band. Is he married? Wow. He has been married for 24 Ooh, years. Oh, we've got a name. Wow. He has two kids, Stephen, 18, just started college. And, and he has a daughter, Christine, is 14 years old. Wait to hear about the house though. Wow. Jeff this house is Red Book Country spiced up with oh dead animals. God. No! I'll take the wheel. <laughs> oh my god. Dead so animals. They're gonna have an end of summer cookout with family and friends. Oh. Essentially where his wife and his kids can be proud of him. It seems to me that what our mission a is. Barbecue is girls. This hippie, we gotta make him How do we Fashion make for a barbecue. Hippie. Operation Hip Dad. Okay. Oh. <gasps> is the intro different? Gay street, straight, straight, don't go there. Nope, it's exactly the same! Ted Allen, girls, he'll get you drunk! Jay Rodriguez! Tom Felicia will give you ochre! Carson Cressley will... I'm not going to say that! Time for gay streets, 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 to go there! Oh, is that a new human? 
Oh, glasses and a collar. Oh no, it's the same. He's got a glass of wine, so you know he's cultured now. Straight in the eyeball, go. Disgusting. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready to rave? <laughs> wow. We all we're on we're on the wall instead of the wall. Okay, the audio has gone terrible again. Wanna buy some cookies? Whoa! Look at you! Wow. Here, let's take a gander. Look at this. Yeah! So the home looks put together? Straight guy, Jeff Toil. Jeff, how many years is this? Wow. They could have chosen so much of a better photo for him than the one in the beginning. Because the one in the beginning, I was like, oh yeah, no, let's let's change this. He looks like acceptable here. I mean, it's not my style of look, but like he looks kind of acceptable. No. Hey, that. Oh, wonderful. A long, long time. Where's the green? Come here. Hi. Oh, you need to turn the volume oh, down. Yeah, Deafening. Oh my god, look at the oh. curtains. Oh. Who made that quilt? Not the Where's dead animal. daughter of yours? Look at you. <laughs> the We're size of this house. Well. I mean, Millennials are shaking. This is like the Waltons. Normal people? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy people! Normal, Normal people? people. Right? Crazy people! No, I don't <laughs> think. This seemed just a little tiny bit over the top, didn't you think? Um, like, I don't think that that's an insane room. A crazy people room? Would you call that? Like someone who celebrates guitars and has like, I don't know. This is very different to the last house that we saw. Like, I don't know what they're going to be able to do to be like, right, he needs to sort himself out because so far, it kind of seems like this guy is a bit more put together than the others we've seen. I'm going to cream. <laughs> what on earth? Now, I want to know how it got the name Smithsonian. Because it's like a museum. These things are like archaic oh, to me. I have a feeling but they're your we're going to some strange meat. Oh, look, ground antelope. Antelope? <laughs> no, that's normal. Huh. Oh, look, elk. Did you stuff well, those? Yeah, I mouthed them, but I didn't. Yeah. Uh, Doesn't that kind of creep you out? Not at all. Have you ever watched him doing taxidermy? Once. A oh, duck. A duck? Disgusting. Oh my goodness. I know nothing about taxidermy. Interior design making ochre. Oh my god, it's a clean toilet. Thank you for being clean. Ugh. Oh, you could not, you could not get me. This no. Because we don't have to start with cleaning the bathtub. We can just start with like with what's in here. Hold on, let me cut your hair. <laughs> Uh-oh. What are they going to be able to do? Because this guy seems actually kind of put together. Did you... I didn't do it on oh my God. Oh, Carson. Good heavens. Have for skincare. The destroyer of worlds. Yeah, what do you want yeah. to face with? The, the hand soap and water. water. Yeah. Oh, I feel like hand soap. She's a fashion woman on the go. I love it. We found your it picture. Makes you want to get a malaria we shot. didn't like it. And this is Jeff's room. I have right. nothing to do with this room. Although, right. he hates these black. Well, I do too. Okay. Yeah, I'm with him on that. I've kind of looked like this for so long. What was that? Long. The black wall? Okay. Yeah, I'm with him on that. These black wall I do units. too. Okay. Yeah, I'm with him on that. Black I've kind of looked like something? this for so long. It's like, right. You know, yeah. You want something new? The look is old. The look is old. <laughs> I have something to say, new, it's really fresh. kind of a disconnect to see this picture of him when he was a model in the 70s. It's 22 years ago. Wow. It doesn't look like you live here. You couldn't I have put that on the screen so we could see? Style here too. We'll, we'll hang a deer head or two up. Let's hang a deer head in here. That always adds ambiance. <laughs> Not. This is the gay goose. No, gay goose. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm laying oh, here in this a, bed. It wasn't that a swan? The swan, girls! Why aren't you making it to the bed? Uh, that's a swan. That is a swan. And I'm all there's... snuggled up like this. Wait, wait, wait. You know what I want to do? What do you want to do? I want to go milk a cow. Is that a neighbor's dog? What is no, that? No, that's a, that's a coyote, I believe. Oh. Jeff, I want to see where you do your work. Where's your downstairs? Let's go downstairs. This okay, family is very put together. Yeah. Makes fun of my you... stuff? Okay, good. Look, I caught a f I caught a homosexual. <laughs> Did he just yell a slur? And that's why they were like, the blank. <laughs> the fish shirt. Kind no. of love it in a yep, weird way. This must go away. That's his favorite dress shirt. There's like two different styles of carving, uh, hand tools right. and power tools. Right. You know, like wow. the grinders, so he's like a full on grinders. artist. The pink box of many treasures. Guess what? You're adopted. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Grandma, yo. Carson definitely does love to get his foot right in there, doesn't he? You're watching the BBC. Grandma, you okay now, honey? Mm -hmm. Grandma, can I get you something? 
Oh my god. Oh? Why is it something that wears his hair down at one of your soccer games? It's like blowing everywhere and he's going like this. Being Mr. Like, Hippie? Yeah. Oh, I do have a tie. <laughs> you do have a tie. Not a good one. I didn't think no, I no, had Now, where a would tie. you wear this? Maybe a court date for stuffing some endangered species. Oh, oh my god. god. This is bear heaven. Wow. Oh That's my god, sweet. your brother's hunky. Isn't yeah. he a hunk? Wow. Oh, he's a hunk. These Good shoes morning. are like things you'd find on the side of the bear road after heaven. a car accident. We can make a whole little living room out here. Here, ready? In two minutes. Right, so the two sofa minutes. is going. Let's see how many dry flower arrangements we can get right here. Go! The Ray. editing. There's no music. Ray. Have you noticed? There's no music. Gray. Oh, look, more gray. Come on, Christina. We're be Isn't it funny how back then gray was like, no, absolutely not. I'm sitting here. Gray, 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 grayscale rooms. Like that is very much on trend right now. Fashion is such a fascinating little topic, isn't it? I have a feeling though that we will eventually come around to ochre again. And I, I do not want to see any more ochre. Never again. <laughs> What is this? Hurry up! An Easter egg hunt? Oh, look, more grey. What? You know, these dried flowers served us well. They, they did. did. They, I think oh, the they're doing a seance. You really can have too many dry flowers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this dried is flowers, bad. is that what that is? No, okay. it's horrible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know. <laughs> that, one, that is positively obscene. Oh, like my God. Sort of integrate this room into the rest of the house right. in a way that you can still have it as your room, but it also works and you use right, it. Right. right. So the family will use it. Right. Oh my gosh, well, but, but, they're a Dutch family. Okay. I love Moulin Rouge, but this is a bit much. Yeah. Let me help you with that. These pictures. Is it just gonna steal that windmill? Just steal it, steal it, sorry. Uh, hello everybody, my name's Carson and I like to steal windmills. Oh, that sounds like a euphemism, doesn't it? That is disgusting. Modeling Let's put this in the neighbor's yard. <laughs> But I, I love his him. hair, then. So he looks hot. so hot. You're telling me. He's got a great me. jaw. He's got a great jaw. Oh, he has a great jaw. I haven't I seen it in 12 years. Oh, you, you want to get oh, back to it a little oh, bit? Oh, I would love if he can look like that again. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're like little what children. Like, <laughs> <laughs> run away. We're just gonna, what we're going to oh. do is we're just going to grind gonna some. File them down. We're just going to file those guys down. Gay, good. I want your gum tissue. Dr. Sherry Gray Worth is bad. shaking. Yeah. Don't mind me. I know you've done a lot of grilling of fish, and I got a, an, a, an idea for a dish that everybody can kind of pitch in on and help. This episode is so different to the things that we've watched previously. Yes, it's chaotic, but it seems a lot more like quiet and calm and collected. I'm so confused about like what happened with the editing choice do you think people were like it was an assault on the senses for the first season so please calm it down girls do you think that's exactly where they've gone because there's no music the editing yes it's choppy but it's not like uh, 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 whiplash like you got in the last season mm. maybe a member of production or a member of the editing team was like i'm leaving and took all of the wildness with them potentially and we're going to do a fish dish but it's going to be a little bit more exotic than some of the dish. stuff you do every day a little okay. dish and fishy? It, it's very presentational it involves um sort of making artistic a, it's very artistic good. Okay. And, and it's i'm good at that i think we're going to do like a Jeff's gonna sing with the toadstool oh, people. That be great? Or the toadstool people. Toadstool. 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 Oh, that would be outrageous. Wouldn't, Wouldn't that be fun, fun? Oh, right be here fun. in your newly revamped home? We'll have some people over. Our yeah. friends. Some people, yeah. Have people over. Oh, I don't, don't just like, like, don't just have dead animals. Oh, no, have people, have people over. over. Yeah. So, do you have in mind a set list, or a style of music that you might do? Um, we're kind of we do a lot of blues. Yeah, oh, we have some blues. Uh, do you want to serve blue squid ink pasta, please? You know, and you go through some ups and some downs. You end up with mixed smashed furniture. You know, you end up with a, a, a leopard. I feel you. Yeah, do you? I do. You, I feel you, know, you look so powerful right you. now. You're an artist. You filled your life with all these amazing hobbies. You have an amazing family. Two great kids. Your carvings are amazing. You have an artist. Come on, Carson. So think of a few other things. Sensibility, because that's what it is. It's a sensibility. Okay. And bring that into your wardrobe. So what's the fashion? Took out the gray, right? And the ugly. We were left with this. Blue. Okay. Slim pickings. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Denim we blue. Stores. Okay. Although girls. actually, I don't mind denim blue. So look, At least Jack, it's not what ochre. What we're here to do is just to make right, a brand here we go. new you. We want to provide you with a new look that's more Everybody new, out. fresh new you because you're a young heart. You know, you're a young hearted guy. You've got a lot of energy. Yeah. It's time to look that yeah. way. So you guys have got a lot of work to do. Yeah, we we'll catch go. up to a little bit later. All oh, right, oh, off they go. Oh, Abduction oh, into the wind. Yeah. Snatched. This is an emergency. Oh, boy, like you know who? Tour. Okay. <laughs> 
when I sleep with him at the night. Wife. It scares me because I see a pillow full of hair. Sometimes he looks like he's closer to nature than nature. And the clothes. He wears SpongeBob t-shirts. Hiking boots. Cut off jeans. Knee socks. Oh, and he loves those pants that zip off that can be like shorts or long okay, pants. Okay, those, those aren't very nice. Speedos sometimes but... when we're fishing at the beach and that's that's just hilarious. Please let them cut speedos your Speedos whilst fishing let at the shave beach. Your beard. Mm. I want to see the man I marry. Does he ever smell like okay. fish or dead animals? Yes. He do? Oh my god! That is so embarrassing! If my boyfriend came home smelling of fish and dead animals, I would be like, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I need to push you headfirst into the shower, please. Please. I can't imagine just being like, yeah, you know, just sometimes he stinks of fish and dead animals. Now oh, he's so quirky. What's on the menu? I thought it was me. I was feeling not so fresh. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, data. Uh, 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 right, data. Here we are, kitties. All righty. We right. have removed have the sofa. Of this one. You're in good hands with me. Right. Bye. Bye. All right. Is this fashion shopping? Okay. Let's go find boys at the mall. All right. Is this fashion Not shopping? The Tom and Tom. Right, right, no. Right. Is this you? a haircut potentially? Sofa. The leather sofas. No. Uh, the incorrect. Central, like crazy bachelor pads. Like yeah, they're those like... were just horrible. But I don't mind it being leather but because was... you have the sofas in the in the family room right. that are that are fabric. Yeah, I like a traditional yeah. looking couch. Okay. You know? Okay. So cool. So let's do that. So let's hone in on the pieces that are here. Ugly, ugly. So tell me what you think. It's certainly gray. Like the high back. <laughs> it's gray. Yes. See, look, it's so gray. It's gray in it. I'm trying to get away from gray. Yes. Right. Didn't Carson wasn't Carson really like nice. no more gray. Ah. It's soft. Yeah, it's which is got it's earthy. Mm -hmm. It's um, ochre. It's comfortable. Right. This one has a smaller rolled arm, which I think is also kind of. Try this one. I don't think they're very comfortable. Oh, Do you know yeah. the one thing I have noticed about like leather and fake leather sofas is that they are so uncomfortable. You end up having to get like throws to put over them because you're like I stick to it in the summer and in the winter it's too cold. So when can you ever sit on like a leather or pleather sofa? Why do we make them? Why? You look more comfortable in it. The back is a nice How big these sofas arms. are. And you know what? If uh, you get kicked out of the... I swear they just don't make them like they used to. <laughs> oh my God, does it happen that often? Well, you know, no, not that oh often. God, but so I said, this wouldn't be a bad alternative. Ooh, a vase. A ming vase. This chair looks like something my wife would have made. It looks like a quilt chair. That I'm doesn't totally look too bad. Of this because of that. Right? It looks like a quilt. Yeah, I think Korean I really quite like that it. as a state. That is the first thing that I've seen that I've not gone how absolutely disgusting. I actually quite like that. That's kind of like a little bit of. I don't know. I want to say Bauhaus, but I don't think that's correct. But it's actually quite pleasant. What's happening to me? Match pieces to personality. Okay. It's neat. It, cool. It brings her. It brings her into. It the brings room. her into yeah. the room. I totally. It brings the outside in and the woman into the garden. <laughs> this is so your story. Right, what's this? And the reason I brought you here is because oh, the little bit I know about fly fishing nets, it's an art, and that's the same way it is for dressing. You okay. need to find the right place that suits you. If you want to go fishing for trout, you don't go to the Atlantic Ocean. You go to True. a trout place. Work to. The supermarket, right. obviously. <laughs> so, I, that's why I brought you to Orbis. A trout a place fit for you. Right. Who knew you could get all this say something out belt. of my fishing store? Look at this, pink feathers. <laughs> I, I mean, what do you people use this for? A um, nice hat. My piece. people would use it to decorate shoes or perhaps a festive tiara. Well, there you go. And when we see a look we like, we get happy, okay. affirming. Right. When we see a look we don't. Quack. We get a big fat quack. Okay. Oh, um, what an interesting voting pattern. There. Okay. We're gonna All right, come on. Moment. Swan, oh honks, or clicks. Wait a minute. <laughs> Christina, let's put new underwear on our list. <laughs> they fish, they fish underwear, fishy. Being hunted by hungry Indians. Okay. Let's get a good view in the mirror. Give me one of your modeling Don't posters. appreciate that. Back from the 70s. Oh, that's good. That's very good. He wasn't kidding about this modeling career, was he? No. <laughs> Everything's have just so baggy. Have ever said, like, who's the freak driving you to school? No. No, but they have to have said something. Probably thought about it. Yeah. Wow, look at you. Have your friends ever bullied your dad? No? Well, they have to have thought about doing it at least once. Uh, I don't really appreciate that kind of mentality because that kind of infers that there is just something inherently wrong with this dad. And so far, I have not seen a single reason to think that there is. Definitely the overtone of this show is more like uh, treating someone like they need to improve their life rather than 
wanting to encourage someone to improve their life. Do you know what I mean? Wow, look at you. Oh, a daytime Christina tweet. With an evening chiffon. Is something missing here, though? Uh, an evening chiffon. What is this horrible pocket noise? Square. Pocket square. This kid's a quick study. A pocket <laughs> square. Just a little touch. A square that makes all the difference in the for world. the pocket. That's a pleasant tie. But that looks great on him. Didn't he look great? I he never to dress it up that. a little bit, but it's dressed up huh. in a really sportsy yeah. kind of way. It's no. not like buttoned up, it's not like a suit. My mom would it's love like a that. hunting way. So oh, I don't. Don't be afraid of mixing pattern. Everything is, is too big! If it's of a similar Smaller. color, tone, which right. these are, right. you can mix the patterns as long as the scale is different. Have you noticed, though, that Carson is being a lot less like touchy feely hands on? He's being a lot more respectful of the person that he's around. In fact, this whole episode feels a bit more respectful of the people that they've like, invited onto the show, which is actually a great feeling because I feel like that makes it much easier to watch and you're less like, oh, just leave him alone, girls, which is much more pleasant to watch. Blend the rules, mix the patterns, match the tone. Oh, that looks awesome. Doesn't that look great? Um, my favorite so far. I mean, it's, yeah. Is she that loves. the noise that bird All makes? Right, let's get you like out of here. Horrible rave whistle. <laughs> the swan goes. The only thing we have left to get is the fish. I haven't been fishing in three weeks. We're Good catching Lord, fish uh, in this economy. Work, the yard work. So you fished this lake before? I have. It's been a long time. Will you bait my hook for me? Sure. I don't want to. You slide them up on the hook and then you hook them again. If you hook them once, there'd be a lot of body length and the fish would come up and bite your thing in half and get away. A straight guy tip. Double up the worm oh God, woman. I totally have a bite. Yeah? I, right. I, I totally had a bite. But see, right about the... the Fishing. The, the, I mean, oh, oh, sure. Shit. There's a fish right there that wants my mealyworm. Okay, then move over. <laughs> well, I got some junk on here. Is that oh, a you know what we call that? What do we call that? You got an Irish flounder. <laughs> Irish flounder. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put one right now. Look at this. Right, and you're over my line. This uh, is kind line. of sweet to be watching. The bird's nest. Is this bad? This looks bad. We haven't actually seen in any of the episodes that we watched so far of the like the straight guy showing them like what he likes to do and why he likes to do it. I mean, we were involved in the art gallery in the first episode and I can't even remember what we were wanted to do about the beach. The beach episode. Did, we, did he even involve anyone in anything that he was doing? Do we even know what he did for work? This is actually quite like a heartwarming moment to see on TV. I bet people were like, oh, isn't it sweet? I wonder if Carson would teach him this. Move, I'm gay. Is this bad? This looks bad. That's bad. That's you're bad. Done. You're toast. Looks like we're going to have to bring the uh, dinner home from the fish market, I guess. It's a good thing we're going to the store. Actually, huh. you know what the best catch I ever had? Kareen? Yes. The catch of a lifetime. That's so sweet to say that about your wife. I feel like... I feel like these old shows were very like, No, marriage, awful. The ball and chain girls. Oh. Excited. Here we oh, are. Boy. Man. What we're gonna do? Go Don't make him it. look like Alex ready? Jones. Oh, oh, oh! A horrible Whoa. bob. <laughs> there it is. Can I touch it? <laughs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> <sighs> this is an interesting music choice. Man, let's go yeah, for it. stuck in a rut and right. sort of want Is to... Is he going to give him 88 layers? Well, how do, what's your take on it? How, how do you... I think change? it was... I felt the change inside, but it needed that jump off the cliff, so to speak. And, and this... Did we get any of this in the last few episodes? This, like, heart-to-heart, -heart, heartwarming moment of, like, tell me how you're feeling about your look and why you have it. Did we get that at any point in the last couple of episodes? There seems to be, like, a real difference in storyline producer between the first season and the second season. I'm excited to keep on watching and see, like, some heartwarming, uplifting moments because I feel like we never see them here on the Chanel, or at least very rarely. And this is that jump. This is the jump, girl. Uh, are we getting a Justin Bieber oh, dude, style? that looks cool. Put your hands in there for a second. Ah, it looks great. You like? Yeah. Let's check okay. that beard. What do you want to do with the beard? Well, I want to keep the mustache. My suggestion is oh, the mustache. really just go for it. Just because of what this whole thing is about, it's about creating a totally different you and really taking some risks and going for it. How about I cut your deal? Okay. His mustache is like really short. How about we go for something like that? You'd be, you'll be okay with that? Yeah, and then if I see that I'm Ooh. not gonna like it, at least I'll still have a little something there. Right. It's better to have lost that love. 
Yeah. He's got some incredible cheekbones. Than to shave than to never have shaved at all. You understand what I'm saying? Oh. Right, here we go. Is this going to look? Heavy beard, electric first, razor second. And tell me, what do you think? Do you want to go all beards the way? Beards are so intense, aren't they? What? Like, it's like all the beards. way ready. So why not? Do you want to go for it? Yeah, why not? Well, let's go for it. I like. Oh, that. his his yeah. it's worked. He could be like, no. Oh, huh? I hate them. What do you think? <laughs> wow. Like, I think I need new eyeballs because it's like I'm not believing. It. Wow, that is a huge like change. Yeah, yeah, I like it. You do I'm, like. I'm in shock. I'm still in shock, but I like it. I like really like it. Huh. That is a huge difference, huge. So this is the Ma American Wood Carving Academy. I want to bring you here because this is a great place where people come together to pursue what you love, wood carving, and, and, and to right. show off their art. Do you mind if we take a little look around? Sure. Okay, cool. What's happening now? What is this? What is this section? Is he going to sell his art pieces? Carving is something that, you know, you kind of do a lot of time for you, right, basically. Right, right. Where do you hope to take that in the future? With a full-time job and a family, you know, it's kind of hard to fit that in there. I, could, I would love to sell the carvings. You know, I see. What an excellent little piece there. to put in. Yeah, it's a gift certificate for one month of wood carving wow, lessons. Wow, that's great. Thank you so much. Thank no problem, Mr. Eric. Nice to meet you. This one off. Thank you. That's guys. so Good cool. Oh, look, it's the rest of your hair. <laughs> I take that? <laughs> I feel so much more uplifted watching this episode. Time to play. I've got to get do it. Right. It's always better to get, have a couple on set. Are we having a photo shoot? <laughs> Is it a photo shoot time? Oh my god. Look who we have here. Is it okay? Oh yeah, my god. Okay. Oh my god, it's okay. Work with it. You're surprised. <laughs> You're oh, it's like the swan. Only one will make it to the pageant girls. Oh my god. Oh, uplifting music. So the daughter is the first one to see the reveal, so to speak. I can't. He doesn't look. No, that's not my dad. <laughs> what do you think? Tell us what you really think. Yeah, you're not saying anything. It is kind of shocking to see someone change their look so much, isn't it? Yeah. To have this moment of like, like <gasps> Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I have to get used to it. This, I had a 31-year-old mustache. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make fashion happen, people. Right, let's, do let's do it. Are we having a I fashion we'd do shoot? A story for the photo shoot because your dad's now a cool dad instead of Elmer Fudd. I want to see this pose again. Oh, I see because he was a model. I think that makes sense, right? Your mom is going to be Oh. Uh, not for me. <laughs> wow. Ooh, Jeff should not be in the kitchen. The only oh. meal I know my dad knows how to prepare would be meatloaf or uh, grilled cheese. Every once in a while, Lovely. Uh, he makes some French fries. I've never seen him cook other than on the on the barbecue. I can't say he's a good cook. <laughs> In the tall residence, I am the main cook. There was a little bit of venom in that yeah. sentence, wasn't there? The new Jan Michael Vincent Brady. Let's hear it for Dad. Da, 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 da. Right, here we go. Are we going to learn how to prepare the little fishes that they bought earlier? What is that? A salad? Oh, Unt salad? It's gonna be a a salage. This is for the barbecue, isn't it? Or the cookout? Is that what it's called? A cookout? Hello. Out Hello. to cook? Uh -oh. Right. Oh, oh, it's very ochre. Oh my god. Oh, you have to cry when you come in. <laughs> you look right. Cool. Come on in. <laughs> Your hair looks amazing. Oh my god. Wow, you this look about five like... years younger. <laughs> Freaking believable. Oh Doesn't he? Like? You look ten years younger. Oh, you look amazing. Oh, I can't believe Wait, come in. You probably should go in here first. Holy come in. shit. This is your new Smithsonian. I love it. Can you believe this is that same house? No. I can't. Sit in your sit in your chair now. I, I mean, sure. Ballast or something. I'm not. I'm not even hearing you guys, man. I'm just I like. I love this. Is it great? So this is what they've done to that room. It's like so quickly. Oh, here we go. Da, 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 da. I've got gout. Oh, okay. It's a little bit like. Um, oh, is that a smoker's room? Smoker's lounge at a country club. Like it feels a little bit like that. Do you know what I mean? Which. I mean, he kind of comes across as someone who enjoys hunting and fishing and taxidermy, which is kind of, I guess, related to like country life and country clubs. So I guess it works. Still a bit ochre though, isn't it? Oh, I 
Is it because good? The house it's not for me, no but doors. it does look better. There's no way to begin or end the rooms. So I, I just framed all the walls out with just a plain flat stock right. and then these battens. And I laid them out and then put up a six inch band at the top and a six inch band at the bottom to give the room some sort of substance. Structural elements create beautiful designs. And then, of course, okay. the French doors that separate the family room from your room. That makes sense. So you can sense. open it up when you're having people over. That does make a lot of sense. If, you know, Differentiation you and division, home, girls. Come in here and relax. This, this room had nothing before. It was a mishmash. This room has, like, yeah. personality. I'm not going to want to leave this room. You well, know? you don't have to. It's yours now. <laughs> well, let's go in the dining room. Well, the first Into thing the here, dining again, room. is the architecture. Right, what? I paneled it out, but I changed it by painting it white in Matching, there, but it different. a little bit less rustic and a little bit more kind Formal. of... Formal. Formal. It's like a and modern version of what we... What you had, right. Our tastes are. But you're, anyways, you're a miracle worker. Well, I mean, are. I'm not a fan of the neck curtains. I think the neck curtains are still very dated, but I do like the idea of the white panels, but the background is still ochre. But I guess white and ochre... Was I about to say that white and ochre together don't make me upset? Really, who am I today? Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. So they did two rooms in this episode. Two rooms. So it was the, like, trophy room and the dining room. Come on, gather your seats, I people. Smell fashion in here. Are sure we having a fashion lighting, show? People. Come on, girls. Okay. Now, Janice let's Hoops. get you started. Let's do jeans here. And then we're going to do that the corduroy sport coat look. Hey, what's going on with this corduroy. fashion show, people? Ooh. And model. Model. A daytime oh, tweed oh, and an oh, evening oh, chiffon. Okay. Don't Wait for the paparazzi. Ready, go. set, model. There you go. Everything is wow. just a bit baggy still. A and there's so many layers. We took a traditional corduroy blazer. Everyone should have these in their wardrobe, especially for fall. They're great. And we did it in a forest green. I took a Levi's denim jacket and put it underneath it. So because it's fall, you can dress in layers. If you get warm or cold, you can adjust accordingly. That's okay? actually and true. just for the pair of rugged jeans, some rugged boots from Orvis, this fun belt that has um, this brass hardware, hunting hardware on it. You could put this on. Sophisticated. Ooh. Oh my God. Let's keep Ooh. going with the fashion show, shall we? You like these looks? I love them. I mean, they're, they're, they're age appropriate, but they're still youthful and a lot of style. And... Okay, kids. Oh. Oh. Just when you thought he had gotten all dad like, now here is our cool rocker, maybe for tonight's party. Oh, wow. He's wearing Lucchese cowboy boots, and instead of always wearing jeans, he's wearing slim fit corduroys. Right on. And they're so cool, and they're yeah. youthful. Turn around, look slim at the Slim fit? Are those can slim? I make a, can I make an observation <laughs> real quick? Oh, oh my goodness. The length is perfect. So the many guys wear their, length, they wear their jeans too short. Those, and the length is great. You want to have a little bit of a break, just yeah. like I'm wearing. And then if the back gets Very a little nice. stepped on, that's great. It's it looks it looks worked Fair in. Enough. Let's go back down here. So Jeff, the... you're you're at, you're officially worked high. in jeans. <laughs> that was very <laughs> turn of the century, oh, wasn't right. it, girls? Okay. And I think it's good that you feel comfortable when you're going to be playing for all of your friends tonight. You've got like oh, yes, 30 people coming over. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, to see the new you. Gonna bring the house down. Okay, I like it. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Okay, Good. time so, to eat. We're gonna do a, a fish recipe that has fillets of fish wrapped in banana leaves, which is really fun and unusual. So we start off with a vinaigrette. Okay. Flavoring it, all right? This is fresh squeezed lemon juice. That goes in the bowl. Then some olive oil. Olive. Some minced thyme. Thyme. And then we'll just season that with some salt and pepper. Kind of gross. Gross? No, that looks gross. <laughs> That's what but she it's... says before she even tries my food. So we have the vinaigrette ready. And now comes the crazy fun part. We're going to wrap the fish fillets in banana, banana leaves. Banana leaves, keep your food moist. This is some of the fish we got. Uh, this is the tilapia. This is the red snapper. Ooh, we're fresh tilapia. We're with lots of this lemon vinaigrette that Christina thinks is gross. I'm going to baste you. <laughs> Now, take, each of you take three or four slices of lemon and, and arrange them across the top of the lemon fish like tilapia. This. Take a sprig of thyme, put thyme. it across the top. Dupli. And now, take your banana leaf and fold it all the way over the fish. Like this that. is so much nicer than what we've like seen this. before. Okay. Like, it's a like a family activity. Fold them over like that. And then get a toothpick, and you want to make sure the leaves have overlapped a little like this. Stick the toothpick down and back through, and voila. How easy is that? So, Et you voila. Grill, you'll have it preheated to medium, huh. and you'll put the, these packets on, do them each six minutes for each side. And then when you put it on the plate and you open it, and you take your beautiful sautéed vegetables, and you'll arrange some of this maybe on one side, and gives, it gives it color. Wow. Color and, and pizzazz and style. Any questions? No, I think we can handle that. Was, that is a very easy recipe. Of, uh, in the grooming department. 
So I'll send you up to Cayenne? I thought you did that already. Mm -hmm. Not more. There's, there's always room for more grooming. <laughs> it is Cayenne. Be groomed, right. my friend. I knew it was Cayenne. So it'll be Kyan. a real quick lesson. Let's get you yeah. in here. So just get in there and get your hair wet, all right? Okay. Right. <clears throat> this is just going to give your hair a little bit of nutrient, a little bit of moisture. This feels good, 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 good. That's great. OK, so and then just work it in. So the idea there is just to get the product evenly distributed. All right. And just stop. OK. Do you see how cool that looks? It's messy <laughs> and easy. There's not a lot of work involved. It's like you just got out of a tornado. No, it doesn't. The thing that I really wanted you to, you know, to know is that there's such a thing as eye cream. OK, this oh, is Dr. Ooh. Brandt's lineless eye cream. It's loaded with um, vitamins and other antioxidants. They're basically just going to protect your skin from premature aging. You can Vitamins and other antioxidants. For both eyes. So just get a little bit on both Oh, I do love a good eye cream. And you start with the tapping motion. You don't want to drag. The skin's very delicate. Right. So tapping rather She's than... She's a makeup drag, artist. The outside working inward. Right. Just like that. Lose your baggage. Daily eye cream so reduces if, if bags. If you use this consistently twice a day, right. in like six weeks, you'll see a really big difference. Really? Yeah. That's soon. Yeah. Think you can handle it? Yeah, I think I can handle it. Cool. I think you might so see a difference. It's filled with all these amazing um, family pictures. All your great pictures, you're all covered up and, and it's hard to see your face. So I thought maybe later today, when you have the big party and your right. wife is going to be here with a digital camera, you can catch um, a family portrait with a new you. So I got you a little That's surprise. such a sweet <laughs> idea. When you thought it was safe How to lovely. come home, right? <laughs> it's just a nice frame. Oh, Macho. Okay. So when you take that family portrait, you can uh, right. put that guy right in there. So that's so that's your mission for me, all right? You make okay. sure you take that family portrait tonight. Family that is first. such a lovely right. idea. Yeah. Such a lovely name. idea. Speaking of family, let's get my family down here. Hey, Kyan, Carson, Ted, Tom. What's going on, people? Hey, brought us some beverages. Oh, there are she comes. Crazy day today. Just that's walking down day. the gout. Oh, now all the gays are around having beer. So all let's right. say goodbye to Mr. Right. Jeff. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, oh is it oh, Pepsi? Oh, my God. Oh, oh. It's not beer at all, I lied. Five, each one of you has touched my life in a different way, and my family's. Um, my my art, my mind, my body, my soul. I mean, you've you've been there, my stomach. I'm gonna get emotional. Work on your casting. Yeah. Okay. Um, wow. I've, I've only known you for a day, but I love you all, and. It's, a it's day. A well, we know that's not quite true, don't we? Of not my really life. A day. And, and I want to thank you all. Thank you. That is so sweet. Good luck tonight. Oh my goodness. You'll clean this up, right? Time to have the party. The party. The cookouts. The barbecue. Good luck tonight. And the whirlwind that's actually quite a tame whirlwind. Please. Bye, guys. Bye. Off they go. Snatched. Right, here we go. Is this the big reveal? Where is this? Oh my god, is this their loft apartment? Oh my gosh, this is Jeff Toll. Could you believe it? Yeah, it's so much fun. I could use a cocktail. The door! Well, it's funny you should oh, mention that. My because no, we're gonna have kids. you on. Okay, this seems a lot more like. Mr. David High energy! Here we go, boys. Alright, come on, Jeff Toll. Yay! Right, here we go. Green beans, fish. Why is she cooking? Oh, it's meant to be. He looks hot. Look at him. His wife is gonna die. Yeah. He looks so cool. He looks like a cool dad. A cool dad. It is quite a big difference, actually. The really? the haircut and the beard. Italy, huge difference. How gay is that? It's so gay. Shouldn't they have a lemon squeezer? That poor thing, she's gonna get carpal tunnel. It's a Polynesian sweatshop in there. It really is. <laughs> Okay, that's not really allowed. No, I do not appreciate that sentence either. Like this? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I like this. Clothing. She's a natural. And if you want to wear one of these, she's a stylist. Don't match your denim. Don't match your denim. I love her. Look at her. She's a little taskmaster. She's a CIT, Carson, in training. You legend. All right, honey. Oh. Fashion. Is he going to do some hair grooming? Oh. This is the aftershave. He's kind of jacked for a dad. He has remembered, so wonderful he's remembered the hairstyling. It's hair true, this is, it's a perfect haircut. You guys, this is an excellent application of product. Excellent application of Le Prodasliers. Uh, 
Now the white socks I'm not so much into. No, that's kind of a bus driver look. Yeah. But it's oh, kind of a bus, bus driver look. No one will know, but when you get home and you have a romantic moment with a little woman, right. yeah. those come off and it's like, hmm. I wouldn't be so sure. I know people who really like white socks on guys. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Oh, cool. A dead body. Wait, was this, was this oh, like a big moment? Oh, oh, here Marie. it comes. Just in welcome the into the house. Oh no, there's that Kareen. That's Kareen. We in the right house. Oh, his son's cute. Right house? Oh, cute. No way. We are not in our house. Or is this the? No! Oh my God, Jeff! Unbelievable. <laughs> this is. That's always what you want to hear. Someone oh. screaming, no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, job well done, everybody. So gorgeous. Your hair. You look 20 years younger. You have an upper <laughs> Not lip. sure about that. Can I kiss? Oh, but it is nice to see. I feel like I'm getting genuine loving vibes. Genuine. Oh, my God. That's so cute. She's, she's like falling in love with him all over again. She Kids, is. We're going to have to go upstairs. Your mother and I need to have a little privacy. We're going to need this countertop for something else. Don't I say that. I want to see she likes the house, you guys. There's a door. <laughs> Look at the Smithsonian room. You guys the couch. Now it's couch. Now it's couch. Now it's Come here, feel this couch. It's now called the Leather Lounge. This is beyond anything. They are such a cute family. Those guys. Are the Leather Lounge. You have shirts, and they're not fishing shirts. Everything is so you. It's like they captured your whole yeah. inner self. You're, it's just old Jeff. It's huh. the you that you should have been for years and years. Oh, you hear that? The inner self. Herself. She gets it. Yay. She really That really is a does. wife that gets it. He is a lucky man. Hey, you get a present too. Oh, I am I'm genuinely quite shocked about how well this is going because it feels like this show is completely different from the ones that we've watched previously because they've really like taken on board this guy, his lifestyle. I didn't get the idea that he was like kind of incapable of doing this himself. I just got the idea that maybe he didn't quite like know how to do it rather than not knowing to do it rather it was it's more like i don't know how to do it and these people have shown him how to do it it's like learning a new skill this is actually quite uplifting and i feel quite um dare i say it uplifted myself jeff thought present. it would be great for your guests to get a before and after oh the fab five. Oh my god they got you a gift oh man uh oh here it comes to he hasn't seen these yet. They're nude photos of he and Kareen from the 60s. It's super gorgeous. The old me. Woo! Oh, wow. He kind of looks a bit like David Bowie there. Man. I believe it. Oh. He looks exactly yeah. like David Bowie. You look younger here than you do there. Yeah, you do. What did I just I say, like girls? from Magnum P.I. I didn't want to do all the cooking. We're all going to do it together. He does look like David Bowie. I want Bowie. them to adopt me. What are all those vegetables? For? Those are oh, this is making me hungry. I'm so hungry. I would imagine. Wait, really? I thought it was his job? No? Fishy passes for the guests on the deck. This seems a bit late to be having a cookout. Oh, he's high. Oh, the swan reveal. Somebody get the door. Somebody come get her. Oh my She's God, not going to. Go. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? Oh, a break, I don't think. Come on in. Oh, for God's sake. Don't let him in your home. He's going to ruin it. Oh my God. Oh, matching bag. Matching bag and jacket. I hope they're a couple. I think their names are Bruce and Terry. Here's the guy. The guests are arriving. What are their reactions oh, going to be? Is that Annette Bonicello? Thanks for coming. Oh, how beautiful. Oh. All right, if everyone can come into this room. Now that's daunting. Oh, is this the reveal? All of your friends lining up to see you. Dad, are you ready to come out? Never. <laughs> this is my new daddy. Whoa. Oh. That's such a sweet reaction. I've never known him to look like a normal person. Oh, but that's a bit David far. Bowie. From ZZ Top to David Bowie, it's a pretty good transformation. I want to thank you all for coming. 
especially my lovely wife. I want to thank my family for, for sleeping with a Sasquatch for the past 22 years. Let's hear it for the family. Not a Sas- a Yeti, girls. There's, uh, there's another group of people I have to thank. And there's five of them. So to show my appreciation... Is this going to be a copyright and song? I whipped up a little tune that I call... The Kiwi Blues. Oh, oh right. Is it about bad we gonna, credit? Oh my god. Are oh we gonna god. have a song it. now? Like a diamond in the rough, yeah. I was looking kind of gruff. Yes, you were, honey. You sure was. It was gruff. looking really gruff. You look like a shih tzu. <laughs> With hair like straw, yeah. And a beard that's thick and tough. Oh my god, he's so good. Awesome. Then there's that little woman of mine. She always loved me for what was inside. Look at him! <laughs> he's like, he's crazy. He's out of his mind. I hate this guy. What yeah, do we leave I, th- no I think I'm with is. that guy. Bye. Well, that's sweet, I suppose, isn't it? I would rather die, but that is rather sweet. Oh, that's nice. Oh my god. A very good idea. Look at that house. That house. That was a great one. We have a blue song. We brought Little House in the Prairie into the new millennium. Right. Is this the wind down? There's never been a bigger transformation. So So that was amazing. And he was so brave to let us shave off his beard because he didn't want to lose that. The camera angles. He was afraid that his upper lip was like would make him look ugly. He looked fantastic. He looked young again. And his wife. He's a hot guy. He's totally. He's a hot guy. I think you really hit it with what you did in those with those rooms that you got. This bit is a little bit like ego stroking, isn't it? A little bit. And so making the room each room about the family and connecting them. And speaking of the family, how great are the kids? Kids, Their relationship with oh, parents is amazing. It's so daddy's little girl. I love it. It's so girl. cute. In the words of Jeff Toll, to the fabulous five. Oh, Jeff Toll, is that how you say it? Fit are oh. bound to be a hit. When having your jeans shortened, remember to have poet. your tailor save and reattach the original A hat. soliloquy. That way you look cool and not like a dork. Like men, all moisturizers are not created equal. So as you age, pick ones with antioxidants and an SPF. They'll keep you from looking too old too soon. Excellent Fendi advice. Be a fancy affair. Candid versus composed. As long as everyone's having fun, mission accomplished. Ooh. How you display your collectibles is just as important as your An ammonite. So choice pieces, integrate them with your favorite books and accessories, and your collection will come alive. How do you make the same old food more exciting? Stuff it. Chicken breasts, pork chops, veggies. You get a lot more flavor, and every bite's a surprise. Delicious. Did you just try and eat a jalapeno pepper? Well, my lovelies, I've got some thoughts on this episode. All right, I'm going to take my ahinger out there. This episode felt so different. The last two or three episodes that we've done of Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, it was so much more structured in a way that was just calm, collected, uplifting. I mean, even the guy that they invited on was like, didn't seem... It didn't feel like they gave him this like hopeless vibe where he's just kind of like happened and doesn't quite understand like how to look after himself or anything. The storyline for this episode was very much like this guy just needs a little bit of like rounding out at the edges. And that's exactly what they did. I feel actually quite uplifted and a little bit like emotionally charmed from this episode, which is something I didn't quite expect. I must admit, though, there was a case of some of the Fab Five using kind of some of the language i mean maybe just carson oh. kind of some of the language that i was a bit like oh don't really know how i feel about that being on tv but i think again we have to also remember that this is like 20 years old and our way of speaking now has definitely changed to try and be more inclusive for people to feel welcomed and to be honest it can only get better from there i think so my lovelies let me know what you think about what we've seen in this episode today i feel a little bit like flabbergasted i don't feel like i saw too much ochre which is nice and the ochre that we did see was done well dare i say it and with that my loves i think i'm gonna leave it on the note of sometimes sometimes people just need a little bit of help rounding out the things in their life they don't have to completely overhaul their entire lives but sometimes a little bit of advice goes the right way so if you if you feel like your friend might need some feel free to share some but don't get upset if they don't take it on board and with that my loves i will see you in the next video (gasps) yes